So the first thing that we'll go over is actually just how to breathe a little bit um, more slowly and better. I think when you're trying to stretch, to get the tissue to release, you want to get the nervous system to actually calm down a little bit first. So a lot of us have a little bit of stress, we breathe quite quickly, um, and when you come into it to try and stretch and release the tissue, if the nervous system is really up and the brain is kind of signaling everything to be kind of switched on, to be a little bit um, tighter, I suppose, it's going to be more difficult to do any of these stretches effectively. So the first thing I would work on is, is correct breathing. So the way that I think about breathing is I want it to be always in and out through the nose. Um, and I spend just a little bit of time trying to slow down the breath and focus on the breathing technique. So uh, a great breath would be a um, big breath in. First of all comes through the diaphragm, so you should actually feel the stomach expand first. Once the stomach's kind of lifted up, then the second part is to try and get the rib cage to open outwardly. So I would, I would refer to that as like 360 degree breathing. So I'm actually taking a breath in, diaphragm first, and the second part then is the rib cage expands outwards to allow maximum breath to come in. And then on the exhale, well, the exhale sort of takes care of itself. And the inhales, we have to be a bit more conscious. The mistake people make with breathing, one is mouth breathing, two is breathing very quickly, three is breathing up through the shoulders. So you get this kind of upward lift in the shoulders, which then um, activates the scalenes, the levatus gap, and the trapezius. So I think before any stretch, especially if you've had a stressful day or you've just trained, I would take at least a minute or so to try and slow down the breath and to do deep, full breaths um, first and 